Hello, this is Mark, and I'm going to show you how to use my Pinion Firefox extension. First, you need to go to my blog at this address. Go there, and then you click Add to Firefox and Allow. It'll download the extension, then you click Install, and it'll ask you to restart your Firefox. Should be pretty quick since it's a small extension. Okay, now it's installed and everything looks the same. That's because it installs in the add-on bar. To see that, go up to view and choose toolbars and add-on bar. Now in the lower right corner you should see a blue square with a character in it that says pin. That's the button to convert pinion with numbers into pinion with tone marks. For example, if I type in Beijing with numbers, click the blue button, then it turns into tone marks. You can even do this in the middle of a sentence. This works on any, uh, it works on any plain text field in a web browser. So, uh, for example, the Google search bar, that'll work fine. You write, uh, I like to eat uh, Roll, yeah, and there you go. Uh, it'll even figure out when you need to add an apostrophe. Apostrophe, for example, the city Xi'an has two vowels next to each other and two syllables, so it should have an apostrophe between them to help distinguish between Xi'an and Xi'an. Um, the, the tool will also figure out which vowel to put the tone mark over. It's not always the first vowel, sometimes it's the first, sometimes it's the second. If you want to use anything with the U sound, you can use a V. So Q, V, 1 would be CHU, like that. Anyway, uh, play around with it. Remember, it only works on plain text input forms. So if you're doing a blog post in WordPress, to do the pinion part, you need to go to the text version. Uh, I can show you that right now. I'll make a new post. So if I'm in the HTML version, uh, look at my pinion, everything should work fine. If you're in the visual mode, though, it won't work. For example, Shanghai. And that's because this isn't plain text, it's rich text. You need to go to the HTML tab, then you can convert it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, go to the download page. You'll find a link on it that I'm pointing to right now. Follow that link and leave your feedback there.